As the biennial event is about to commence as the Hazlitt student body prepares to take on the Hazlitt faculty. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tony Huff and along with me is my good friend and co-host Brett Hewitt. And Brett, what do you expect to see in this great matchup? You know, uh, I remember two years ago, the last student staff game, uh, played a great game. Mm -hmm. Staff pulled it out in the end. I think they won by about six points. All right, well, we're going to go to the national anthem right now. Sung by Mrs. Schnarr. Wow, I didn't know Mrs. Southwell could sing, but it was great. All right, and so with that, that pretty much, uh, I guess, starts the activities. This should be a good matchup as it always is. You know, uh, uh, every year the students try to, try to, um, yeah, I guess, I don't know, beat. <laughs> their teachers, you know. As I was saying, it was a, it was a close game mm -hmm. last, two years ago. Uh, I think uh, the staff always has advantage in the first two quarters. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the freshmen and sophomores, nothing against them. They're just smaller and not as, yeah. not all of them, but most of them are not as strong as the teachers. Well, it looks like we got uh, Mr. Brunchweiler out there. He's pretty good. He has the, uh, the IM program going on for people who don't play. Uh, basketball on the basketball team so he's around uh, good basketball pretty much all the time and then you got some other uh, great people I don't even think I've seen this one guy over here <laughs> well uh, this is one of the interns uh, I think he helps us resource teachers but we got right. Mr. Rutku who always, always is showing his uh, style always, yep, always showing some sort of uh, spirit and here we go the freshmen start off with the ball Zach Port bringing it up the court uh, his, his dad is not playing right now, but it would be yeah. nice to be able to see them play against each other. Yeah, he's a uh, pretty good basketball player. Shively with the ball. Ford at the top of the key. This looks to be a solid freshman lineup right mm -hmm. now. I think uh, four. Good ball handling. Shively going to take it to the hole. Just up. Four of the five here, actually, on the guy's basketball team. We got a foul on Shively. Students obviously not happy with that. We only got one official here today, folks. <laughs> hey, look at that. He is a Hazlitt faculty member. Mm -hmm. Principal with JP. Port with the rebound. rebound Trying to push it up. Rucko setting up his defense. Looks like he's it's the... Down. Uh, it's going to be a travel. Yep, double dribble. There's a freshman with the small but, you know, just big the, mistakes there. They just got to get there basics down. Yeah, just, just a little slip up right there. I think they're a little nervous. They might need to slow it down a little bit. Oh, oh big, big block by Shively right there as he rejects <laughs> one of the shots. Students going crazy. This really pumps up this student section right there. And Mr. Brunchweiler for three in the corner, just off the mark. Shively, Shively the with the rebound. Pour it. Bring it up court. For it, tosses it off. Goes up for two. It's gonna be a jump ball. 
So it's gonna go in. Uh, teacher's favor. Yep, in the favor of the teachers. Six minutes and 12 seconds left in this first period. Now just for uh, those out there that don't know how this works, there's two lineups for each class, right? Mm -hmm. Correct. And they each play half of a quarter. Right, yeah, equal time. And I think the students have really made a conscious effort to try and beat the uh, student, or try to beat the staff as Mr. Brunchweiler makes a sweet move for two. And you know, they, you know, and, and it seems like they get they get people that um, have not played, but also a, a good rotation that has played, so that they can get some sort of experience in there. Here it is as Rogers tries to take it up for two, and he is rejected. Going the other way. That's one of the uh, lunch members. For it. It's passes. Up the two, just up the mark. Students cannot find the rhythm. Can't make anything drop. Uh, this year, I guess the student, or the freshmen and sophomores didn't have enough people uh, right, yeah. buying tickets, so pretty much anyone that bought in got in. So there you have uh, Mr. Brunchweiler making it up for two. It's four nothing in favor of the uh, teachers. Pour it up for three. <laughs> nothing but the bottom of the net right there. Looks like if they can stop Brunchweiler, they can stop the staff right now. Well, I don't think they're going to stop Brunchweiler. Uh, he's, a, he's a very good uh, player. But I think what they need to do is they need to hit from the outside. And as I say that, the <laughs> staff steps up in the form of a three. 7-3 is the score. Four minutes, 35 seconds left on the clock. Shot for three, no good. But at the same time, uh, you want to have... You want to have the three-pointer, but you don't want to just exactly. solely go to it. You need to, you know, right. di distribute it a little bit. Rutschweiler pulling another move. He can't get it to fall. Gets his own rebound. Goes up for two again. Off the mark. Got another <laughs> rebound. Still missed it. Gets Offensive his own rebound again. rebounds. Oh. Wow. And when Janky calls it out. It's going to be a kick ball. I don't know if uh, the staff is a little favor here with yeah. the Janky reffing or not. Well... I think right there is just a kickball, so it, it went in the right direction. As I said before, all they need to do is stop Brunchweiler, but it doesn't look like they can. Yeah. Got some late people coming in. We got a rotation for the students. Looks like. And big Port men are and out. Port will go up against each other. The matchup you were talking about earlier. This should be good. Wasted a lot of time now. Students look confused. That's up for three again. No, off the mark. Preston Watson gets a rebound, taking it up court. Taking it the other way. I don't all know the, if you've noticed this, but all the calls have been on the yeah, students. Yeah, all the calls so far, so far have been against the students. So let's see what happens right here. Staff, get it down to Port. Port, double team. Port on Port. Back up to Port. Port. Signaling out. Port knows what he's doing. Mm -hmm. Trying to take it up against his son. Tries to take it in the middle. Up for three. Can't Off get the it mark. Radecki bats it back out. <laughs> trying Preston to get the ball. Watson gets the ball again, taking it up court. Passes to Port. Get it. Port up for three. Off balance. Oh, oh, what a shot. Wow, and that's big time shot right there. That's going to put it six, seven, two minutes, 20 seconds right now in the favor of the staff just by one point. I mean, I think the, fresh, I think the freshmen are doing good, mm -hmm. keeping it tight. Yeah, I mean, as long as they, they keep it, you know, we were talking with Coach Chad Stripling for the seniors over there, and he was saying, Keep it, keep it within four five, points in the five, fourth quarter. Four or five points, and yeah. they'll be good. And and you know, and we, we can win the game. Here it is. We got a two on one. Pass it up, up for a layup, off the mark. Got to make those layups, especially in a game that you want to win. Minute and uh, 50 seconds left on the clock. Staff is up seven to six. Radecki with the ball down on the block. Up, no good. Preston Watson with the rebound again. He is small, but he is mm -hmm. playing big. Poor it. Up for three, off the mark. Other poor gets the rebound. What's Staff it? bringing it up the court, intercepted. Students can't keep the control of it. But wait, and I guess Staff gets the ball. Students are asking for a timeout. 
I think Wajanki's confused. Clock's still running, which I don't understand. Finally got it to stop. I don't know what's going on. Well, it looks like the students have called a timeout. They're arguing with uh, the official currently about the clock, I, I would assume. I guess. All right, and so uh, I guess we'll just uh, go over the basics here. The basics, I guess. Uh, this is a charity game, and the intent is to have fun while raising money for the Susan G. Komen Breast Cancer Foundation and the Lansing Area AIDS Network. It is expected that every person brings their best sportsmanship, so we all have a good time. So, yeah, I could see with Janky throwing some. Uh, Technical <laughs> fouls on the crowd here. Yeah. Soon. Each quarter's eight minutes split up into two four minute half, uh, eighths of a quarter. <laughs> eighths I know. of a game. I, I got a half within a period. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, but here's Preston Watson bringing it up to court. Nice socks. Oh my. Broke some ankles, just misses it though. Students get the rebound. Shy goes up. Looks like he was fouled. I don't know, but. Students still have the ball, and they're gonna call a travel? Three, Three seconds. seconds. Again, another uh, call on the students. I don't think they've had any yet on 46 staff. seconds on the clock. You know, I really can't see how there hasn't been anything called on the staff yet, because I remember two years ago how dirty they played. <laughs> I mean, in class, you think they're nice, but once you get out on the court, mm -hmm. it's like they have something to settle with their students. Preston bringing it down, <laughs> trying to take it up nice for himself. Pass. No, passes it off. 8-7, and students, students in favor. Students finally have a lead here. 20 seconds to go in the first quarter. Carnahan bringing it up. You can see Brunschweiler over there. Barking out plays. Oh. Mr. L goes up for it. Preston with another rebound. Nine seconds on the clock. Gets it out to Shibley. Shibley <laughs> throws it out to Evan Rogers. Evan, oh. back up. Oh, it's blocked by Port. Oh, wow, what a shot. Buzzer beater ends the quarter. <laughs> So 10-7. Freshman really brought it. I was, I am really impressed. In favor here, we're gonna have a replay of that last, I guess, sequence of events. I think Shively was going for some style points there when he mm -hmm. threw that up. Never mind, we're not gonna give you that replay. If we don't but, go. But uh, that was an amazing shot, beating the buzzer. So we get a two-minute uh, intermission here period right here for the students to change the the staff also to change and actually the students look like they have a uh, more uh, DR uh, they have more depth to their rotation right now it, it does look like than it. the than, than the uh, teachers well I know uh, as I said before the sophomores and freshmen didn't have many people sign up so I got the people that were really serious about it were the only ones that bought in <laughs> the raffle yeah so uh, I guess if they wanted to play, they, they're playing. Yep. So, I mean, there's good and bad to that. Here it is. You can see a great shot right there of Greg Edwards and uh, Mr. Wojcicki. Mr. Wojcicki serving as the mediator. There's a... Now, now Mr. Wojcicki, <laughs> what, what type of basketball does he ref? Like, what level do you know? Uh, Division two. Division two. Yeah, he, he, he mostly refs Division two, and uh, I believe that he did a couple... Uh, games in like the tournament. There's Brandon Manson. Uh, should have been over here. Lovely hat. Um, you know, I, I wish I could have one of those hats. I even, no, I don't. <laughs> I don't I, I, what, it, what is it? <laughs> Flamingo? Flamingo, yeah. maybe. But uh, con oh. students continue to show up to uh, support the uh, charity event. Yeah, that's definitely good. You know, uh, I know at the beginning of the game, some of the organizers were kind of kind of worried kind of worried that, uh, you know, about this, and uh, they, they were worried that uh, not a lot of people would come, so here it is. We're going to start up here. Students will start with the ball. We got A little Rutko. bit of descent. Rutko uh, the giving it to Wajanki. I, I, I guess this is the only time he can do that without getting in trouble. Nice. Puts it right into the Nat sound. Thank you, Mr. Wajanki. Always a pleasure. Students bringing it up. Kopke goes up for the shot, doesn't get it in. It's gonna be a jump ball down low. Lesnar, wow, he is oh! physical. 
He is getting physical. It is getting physical he down there. He told us before the game he was the best uh, competitor. Yeah, he did. Ever. Like the headband. Here it is. Has it bringing it? Or excuse me, teachers bringing it up that court. Half a minute into the second quarter. Daff, Kopke blocks. Kopke has a has a two on one. Gets it up to Burns. Burns goes up Got it. Makes wow. It. No travel on that. <laughs> hey, uh, I think we're Janky owes it. A couple calls there. 12-7. Mm -hmm. Staff bringing the ball up. Rutko calling out the shot. Pick. Pick. Copy. Pick and roll right there. Hits the same player. Is that Snook right there? That is. Uh, yeah, that is Snook. That's, yep. She, she tripped herself. Gets it down to Rutko. Rutko, triple teamed. Pass it back out top. Takes a three Up air a three. ball. Nothing but air. Oh, and here go the students. Mm -hmm. I think they really get into this. I mean, they it's, should. it's a fun fun way to get back at your teachers. It is. Shibley bringing it up the court. Gets it off to Burns. Burns, down low, Got up it. and in. Wow, the sophomores are really burning the teachers here. There you go, 14-7 like that. Seven-point game here at Hazlitt High School. You know, I was thinking maybe sometime we should start a football student staff game. I don't know about that really be getting back at the teachers. Snook, out, out of bounds. bounds. Wow, I, I don't think the uh, staff is ready for this. I think they're surprised. And uh, yeah, they, they're gonna bring in the subs. Uh, looks like so. uh, Porritt is back in. Hello. Brunchweiler's also back in. And uh, trying to put that starting lineup back in that got them the first seven points. They haven't scored since. Burns bringing it down. Passing it down low. Kelly Shidley for the two. Misses it. Porritt's got the ball. He's bringing it back up court. Porritt making fancy moves right there. Out to Rutko. Having some issues controlling that ball down to Brunchweiler. He's, He's down to Brunchweiler. He's almost had, had his own rebound. Brunchweiler's had four of the seven points. Shibley passing it down to Kopke. Kopke. Trying to take it in. Trent. Nice pass. In and out. Backside of the. Rutko trying to bring it down. Passes it up to the lunch lady. Lunch lady up for. Steps inside the three, so up for two. That's going to be out of bounds. The sta I mean, staff hasn't been able to get it done yet. Uh, students put it on uh, six quick points there. Yeah, four minutes, 44 seconds left in this first half. As Copy takes it down the... No foul. No foul called right here. Oh, yeah, they're going to call holding is. right there. I think it's going to be on Rutko. Mm -hmm, that was just too much. Take it out of bounds. I guess there's no shots here. Copy's a little upset. But he was not in a position to shoot there mm -mm. under the rim. Get it out to West. Back to Copy. Trying to get out to Burns. Shively gets the rebound. Brings got it. Back out to Shively. She can hit the three. Yes, she can. We saw that during the regular season of girls basketball. Copy Here does Kopke up. up for two. Air ball. And you're going to see Brunchweiler taking it down the court. He's a very good uh, ball handler. Gets it off to the lunch lady. Lunch lady up for three. three. Oh, in and out. Rutko with the rebound. Trying to take it up. Can't get a point right now for the teachers. And Kopke's going to bring it down. Oh. And he throws it just out of bounds. Almost looked like it went off a teacher, but. Yeah, three minutes and 40 seconds and running, and the uh, students are going to make a substitution. Remember, this is a running clock, so it, uh, it won't stop unless you have uh, unless you call a timeout. It almost looks like uh, Chad is coaching them all. He's yeah. down there with his clipboard right now. I think he's just giving us a support. Brunchweiler up for two, makes it. So uh, we got. 14-9 in favor of the students with three minutes left in the second quarter. Gets it up to Jerry West. Up for oh. <laughs> Jerry West? What, what's his name? I forget. Uh, Jerry. Big Jerry. Jerry. Big Jerry. But it's not West. It's yeah. East. East. There you go. East something. Jerry West is a player in the NBA. <laughs> you know he's going to be Jerry West now. <laughs> well, with that steal, he might be able to play. Yeah, there you go. Students bringing it down court. Jerry up. And he's got and it. Good. Two 16. minutes, 45 seconds, 16 to nine. Students. This, up. Is a, this 
this is a surprising mm -hmm. uh, low scoring affair so far. Here. Yeah, low scoring. I, I I thought that the staff was going to come out and just dominate yeah. the freshman, but so there it is. Port takes it up in for two. Two minutes and 23 16, seconds. 16 11, still in favor of the students. Uh, looks like they're having a little ball. It's going to be a jump ball, yeah. Issue here. Students going to make a substitution. Kopke coming in for Jerry. <laughs> Kopke uh, seemed to do good. He's got size. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he has some size and he has pretty He's good quick. ball handling. Still uh, quick, though. Yeah, he has ball handling uh, skills. Skills, so, I mean, you know, he, he's, he's perfect for a game like this. They're going to just a little that? bit of an ISO, bring everyone to one side and have a man-on-man -man situation right there. 18-11 is the score. Minute and a half left in the Kernahan up and in for two. 18-13. Staff just can't get an edge every time they score. The uh, and wow. students right back down. So we're going to be shooting two right here. Noah should be uh, shooting two free throws here. I don't know how good of a shot he is. Oh, well, he's showing it earlier. He has a pretty good shot. I saw before the game he was dunking, so. <laughs> <laughs> that would be nice to see. Off on the first. Just off the mark. Brunchweiler's getting ready to box out. I don't think I'd want to be on the uh, receiving end of a box out from him. Here it is. And he doesn't get the rebound. Trying wow. to, yeah, trying to get the rebound. Could not do it. 54 seconds left Students on the clock. Students up for three. three. No good. Brunchweiler with the rebound. There's going to be a foul. Wow, that was a weak call. Yeah, well, you know, he's just reaching. Send everyone back down. See, the problem in, that, in this type of game with those kind of fouls is it's a running clock. So with the amount of time that they're given, those calls. I, mm -hmm. I, know, what you tr I know what you're trying to say. Here it is. Students going to come back. Let's see if we see a dunk right here. No one oh. slams it down. <laughs> Should send a message to the staff. Get off the court. And, and so we're gonna James see. is teed up. So we're going to see a technical right there on the students as a guy comes out. Not a wise decision. Not a wise decision at all. They're uh, chanting for Noah. So there you go. Oh, with 11.9 seconds on the clock. Carnahan shooting for the staff, missing their first. They need any point they can get right now. Mm -hmm. Especially with the. Uh, so she misses both of them. Juniors and seniors coming up. I don't know. I might have had Brunchweiler shoot those. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. We're poor it. Oh, uh -oh. they get the lunch oh, late. Oh, oh, there. Oh. <laughs> Opportunity wasted. So 10, 10 seconds left on the clock. See if they can get a Students. few more points here before the half. Three down. Three, two, Pulling one. Up. At the buzzer. Oh, no this good. Is it. So at the half, the students. The so at the half, the students will be up 20 to 13. I did not expect this, and we are going to throw it to a student piece, and we'll be back right after this.
Do you guys not have one of the... So uh, while we were on break, uh, they held a raffle for uh, who could, whoever won could shave Rucko's head. Looks like uh, he's got a little uh, style going here. I can't tell from this angle what he's going for, but you know, I don't know. Well, I think it was supposed to be a mohawk. I, I don't even know what he's doing right now. I, I think what he's trying to do is just trying to get the hair kind of Short, so he it's can like actually Houghton do stuff in here. I don't. I wouldn't want Houghton to cut my hair. I'm not even afraid. Yeah, neither would I. You can't fight him. Yeah. <laughs> <You> can't. <laughs> I like what he did. He put beads on his. It's very artistic. Yeah, that is. Large but artistic. Hey! Nice quality. Uh, I don't. I don't know. Uh, still shaving here. Looks like he's going, making X's almost. He's going cross and then back through. Maybe we can get him to come over one of the cameras to show us. Sometime, maybe. So, uh, we'll just uh, shut up for a little bit and let you watch. The It's taking so long. It must be uh, really putting some effort into this. Rico seems content though. He doesn't seem uh, fidgety at all. I don't know if I trust Guy in the brown is the one who, the, the guy who won the raffle. So I don't know why he's just taking the back seat. But Zach, I guess he got a, a, a bad grade or something trying to get back. That's a lot of hair if you look down at the floor they got that up. Oh yeah. Ooh, that is a very beautiful haircut he's got there. So uh <laughs> didn't do too uh, anything Ooh, I see. too ridiculous. Looks like some patches there's no hair. So that's okay. okay. It looks like he got a, uh, got a variety of tattoos on his arms as well. So uh as that wraps up, uh Getting a clear floor to start the second half. And as Brandon Manson reminds everyone, I'll remind everyone at home as well. This is a charity game, and the intent is to have fun while raising money for the Susan G. Coleman Breast Cancer Foundation and the Lansing Area AIDS Network. So this is definitely a good thing, you know, just a biennial event, and uh, just you know. I guess a chance for the students and, and, and the faculty to, to come out together, um, play a good game of basketball, see who wins. Normally it's in the past, it's been the, uh, been the faculty, but this year, students trying to uh, change the trend. I don't know what Duda's doing out there. He, uh, I guess he's coming with short shorts today. Who's got short shorts? Yeah. Duda has short shorts. It's an interesting attire. Got Dominique Harrington. He's on a basketball team. Yep. Oh, he's a very good player. He's big. I would not <laughs> want to post up against him. Looks like Rutko or Emily Winter is going to have to face Houghton down low. Be interesting. Uh, yeah, it will be. Looks like there's a little confusion on Mr. Wojcicki's part. Students and staff are confused about which way they're playing. Uh, I don't know. I what's guess going the rule on. the rules were messed up. This is the same way they went down last That's time. That's what staff was arguing about. Yeah, you're not supposed to do that. I guess. Uh, 
Maybe uh, students like left them better. Just trying to get it out. There you go. Uh, For three. And we got with JP on their side five. Just off the mark, yeah. There you go. Uh, Brunchweiler with two. 2015 is the score. Helton bringing it down. Duda with the short shorts. Takes it up. For two. In and out. Back up again. Here it is. They're going to take it down the court. Bradley James, James getting physical. Getting physical, trying to steal it. Gets it out to Brunchweiler. Brunchweiler. Zach really needs to watch Brunchweiler because he will drive on Duda. Here we go. Looks like at least two or three of these he goes up students to the shot. play basketball for the school. Dom Harrington. Brad James. Look at him. Well, Duda shoots and this again. Duda just needs to get that shot just a little bit up, and then that'll be good. Teacher's bringing it down. Teacher's slow getting down the court anyway. Gives it to Brunchweiler. Brunchweiler for three. In and out. Off the mark. Duda saves the ball, but the teachers recover. Down to Brunchweiler down low, and he will miss again. This is a rebound, and this again. Man. It's a, finally. Last the couple students. Yeah, last couple shots by Brunchweiler really haven't been uh, really haven't been that uh, good, you know, just kind of rimming out. He and came uh, out okay, made yeah. his first shot, but James, no good. Houghton gets a rebound. Houghton, a big body. He's gonna drive. Takes it up. Nice shot. That's good. 22-15 is the score. 5:47 on the clock in this third quarter. Just a reminder to the folks out there. This is the juniors playing. I think they're coached by Sam Guzman on the bench. Uh, yeah, but it looks like Chad Stripling's take. Chad is still taking control. Yep. Yeah, taking over the duties. I mean, you got to let the man with the suit and the clipboard take oh, control. Oh, yeah, definitely. Brunchweiler for three. Nice Off the mark again. again. Duda with the rebound. Bounce off some up court so you can get the ball. Duda, it's a three and two. Gets it off to James. Dom. James for three. Dom hasn't really done anything. I mean, that plays. wasn't Dom. That was I know, but he, <laughs> okay. I mean, he's on the team. I would think he would uh, take more control while he's on the court, but he really... Gets a rebound there, but he really hasn't done much yet. Oh, that's a big rebound. Here we go. Harrington gets it out to Duda. Duda driving. Throws it up. Houghton, big body down low, gets a rebound, and <laughs> looks like he's going to be fouled. And that's a lot of person falling down to the ground right there. Luckily, there was no one under him. Yeah, so Wojcicki will call the foul right there. Here we're going to bring in Kelsey Kindy and Nick Barnard. And Brad James and Dom Harrington. Houghton's going to be shooting here. I don't know if he's going to be a Shaq here. And yeah, hey, let's see. What? Goes up. Wow, makes his first. <laughs> what a shot. Stops in uh, midair right there. Kind of like Tiger Woods there with his golf shot. Stopping. Oh, okay. I didn't know where you were going with that. And a ball is thrown out of the court. I don't know who that was by. Uh, Houghton gets his rebound and was fouled again. <laughs> and he's going up. Looks like he's going to get some more shots here. Not sure where the basketball came from, but uh, mm -hmm. didn't seem to bother Houghton there. And this is first. This is one of them. Uh, Houghton, you get two right there. <laughs> <laughs> He's just trying to confuse the teachers. Yeah. That's it. I do like the beads, though, that he has. It's nice. Three minutes and 40 seconds left on the clock. Houghton oh, misses Off the mark. Fourth one there. So one for four out of that. One more than I thought he was going to make. 23-15. Nice pass to Duda there by Rutko, but Duda just walks out of bounds. Right. Yep. So here we got some people back in. Dom and Brad James back in. Three minutes, 20 seconds, uh, and running in this third quarter. Duda's Ms. coming back out, and Houghton out, so. Miss Carnahan coming in, and Mr. Porritt also coming in. He's gonna relieve Rutko and his new haircut. Brunchweiler. Yeah, she's getting gets the ball into the lunch lady. Oh, that's the lunch lady. Yeah. Lunch lady. Gives it out to B. B for three. Still off. He uh, yeah. hasn't been able to make anything since. There's uh, Port with the rebound. Half a minute in. Yeah, he, uh, it seems like every shot's been contested, so. Uh, you know, I was talking to Coach Stripling at uh, half, and he's saying they're 
He likes their energy, but they need to make their layups. And Brad James. Is, and Brad James with the charge right there. He is out of control <laughs> today. Yeah, yeah, he was just out of control. Uh, defender had position on him. Uh, you know, what, what can you say? But uh, I, there's a good shot of uh, Coach Stripling right there. He's been writing out plays. I saw him over there. <laughs> I don't know how much his student uh, team is listening to him, but he can try. Yeah. You know, the staff has been struggling, but they are down three of their good players. Mr. Beebe, Mr. Ferguson, and Mr. Toby. Yeah. They're all not here tonight. So here we go. Brad James, way down court. See, so you think the ball up to him. Wide open, Houghton brings it up himself. Finally gives it to Brad James. Brad James gives it to Duda. Duda up for the Finally little lane. One. Yeah, there you go. 25-15 is the score, minute 37 left. Students still have the lead by 10 now. So the lead slowly grows. Staff. Trying to get the ball. Students have called a timeout. As the clock finally stops. So yep, the clock will stop a minute and 16 seconds remaining. Looks um, like the juniors are holding their ground here. Yeah. Um, you know, they, they need to keep the lead, you know. Uh, well, going back to what we we said when we were talking with uh, Coach Stripling, you know, as long as they keep a uh, keep it within four points, and even if they had the had the lead, we'll have a good a shot of winning. And then you can see a great shot right there of the huddle. Some of the seniors getting ready back there. Uh, we have a pretty good lineup for the seniors, uh, from, from what I remember. So we got a couple basketball players. Chris Morey, he's a very Chris good Morey, player. Yeah, Greg Edwards. He's fast. He's fast. RJ Kelly, basketball player, very big, tall. Yep. Yeah. Should be pretty good. So here it is, giving it to Houghton. James bringing it down. Southwell's over there calling for the ball. She's <laughs> got a student shirt on, so it might confuse some. Yeah, she's, she's not playing today. Here it is, Nick Barnard up for two. No good. Court brings the ball up the court to the staff. Court. Bradley James looks like he is just staying back, waiting for the ball to come to him. He's not. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Lesna with the unforced turnover right there. He was also one assistant this year for the Hazlitt Varsity basketball team. Duda bringing it down. Bernard tries to juke. It, almost loses the ball, gets the ball to Kelsey Kendi down low, who gets the ball stripped and forced out of bounds. Staff. 20 seconds left on the up. clock. Looks like they're subbing and it's just wasting time. Yep, they're just wasting time right now. Carter hand with the ball, seven seconds on the clock. Brunchweiler, up for, the three. Up for three. No Still good. Can't get it. And I think Duda that's just gonna expire on shoots, time. But no hope. So 25-15 is the score in favor of the students. So now we're gonna go to the seniors. What do you expect? Do you expect the lead uh, to stay or do you expect the, uh, the faculty to kind of dig deep a little bit and uh, maybe get the win? Uh, I would expect the faculty to come out strong, but these seniors, it's the last time that they get to do anything to these teachers. Yeah. Uh, should be an exciting time for them. Yeah. I think that they're gonna come out strong. I'm 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 seeing a couple threes gonna be shot here. I don't know <laughs> if they're gonna be made. Well you got Nick Freyer, Chris Morey. Those are two uh, Greg Edwards was hitting some threes early, but he's not in right now. If those are two players that can really hit the three. Ben Rizzo's really fast, so yeah. I'll be looking for some fast breaks by the students. I know. He's not very good at basketball though. No? Nah. Not, seen not, not, not so much. He's in there for the rebounds. There's a in the Freyer. Nick Freyer. So here we go, seniors. Trying to see if they can't. Maury win driving. This. Oh. Freyer, this rebound takes it. Long two, rims out. Ben Rizzo with the rebound. Picks it up. Wow. Come on. So there you go. Three shots made. Uh, 
missed. Three shots missed by the seniors right there, but they got two good uh, offensive rebounds. And you can see Coach Strickling over there really coaching now. Looks like the staff has brought in their big team here. <laughs> yeah, they got a trap down low right there. Giving it to Les now. Les now up for two. Off oh. the mark. Looks like a little contact, but might have affected the shot, but not that much. Frayer saves the ball. Out to Mori, who overshoots Kate Mahon, Kate Mahon, Mahon down, down there. there so. Different person to see down low, Kate Mahon. <laughs> <laughs> not normally. Or I think the tall people will be in next. Yeah. RJ is looking like he's getting ready to come in. Chris Mori bringing it down. Gives up to Ben. Ben, what a up shot. for the nasty layup. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, he must be okay if he can make those shots. Wow, 27-15 is the score. Six minutes, 45 seconds left in the game. Students taking a commanding lead. Staff don't, doesn't look like they're too worried. They're still bringing it up slow, trying to get something started. Still a lot of time. Nick Freyer bringing Freyer's it up the court. A break here. It's a two on two. Gives it up to Ben. Ben with a travel. <laughs> Called that one before uh, Mr. Wojcicki could. Maybe you should be out there, Tony. I should. That's what I'm thinking. Staff gets the ball again, continuing to slowly bring it up court, trying to get something out of nothing here. Yeah. They really haven't been able to get anything started. A lot of new faces here. A lot so. of interns playing today. Yeah. So here we go. Gives it down to R Rutko. Rutko, double team. Almost stolen, saved. Ooh. Wow, that looked a little shaky. It was right but there, Nick uh, Freyer with the steal. He's gonna take it down. It's one on one right here. And it's Up good. And in. See, there's uh, one of the issues for the staff there. None of them play basketball anymore competitively. I don't know, Brunch Brothers pretty good. And so is Rutko. Yeah, but this senior lineup. Yeah, this senior lineup is pretty strong, I do have to admit. Kind of makes you think if this was really randomly drawn. Oh, wow. <laughs> Students pass it in to the staff. So Radecki with the, with the steal. In there. I, I don't know, he asked for it. She gave it to him, so. <laughs> Rutko went up for two and just off the mark, so it's going to go Students' way. Five minutes and ten seconds left in this game. 29-15 is the score. That was a good play by Radecki, though. Yeah, it was. Confuse the students who, you know, most of us are always confused. Rizzo with the rebound, that's gonna be over the back. Or a push. I don't know, he doesn't have, I don't know what his calls are. That's gonna be, you know, I think he is confused. Who? Mr. Wojcicki. Just wasting time. Oh yeah, the, the subs, so it, this is, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I'm gonna say the students win this game already. Yeah, staff <laughs> just can't make any. They're, they're not making any shots. They haven't made anything this quarter. So here it is. I think Hazlitt's going to... Yeah. Hazlitt students are going to sub in right here. They're going to bring in Tyler Robinson, Andrea Palmer, Nevin Aparapovich, Greg Thank Edwards. R.J. Kelly. And R.J. Kelly. You know, I noticed uh, before regular season games, R.J. throwing up half courts with one one-handed half court shots. I'm looking for a couple of those today. I remember really? two years ago, uh, Luke yeah. Magnuson, he's kind of crazy, but he was shooting up half quarters with five minutes. Yeah, that's why quarter. he's not playing this year. True. <laughs> Nevin Aparapovich for three. Banks it. Off the glass and in. 32-15 is the score. Nice that brings it up, passes it to Tyler Robinson. students. Steal Greg Edwards down low. Oh, almost loses the ball. Andrea Palmer for two. Oh, <laughs> in and out. That ball went in, in the hoop a couple times right there. there. Came back, back out each time. For it. Taking it down. For three. Over Greg and can't make it. That would have been a sweet shot right there. Tyler Robinson being the point guard. Taking it up. Gives it up to RJ. RJ, up and in. And he's got it. 34-15 is the score. Three minutes and 10 seconds left on the clock. Miss Carnahan. Throws it Stolen down. by Nevinow. Looks like the basket, the real basketball players are taking control here in this fourth quarter. t Rob gives it down to RJ Kelly again and just banks it off the <laughs> back of the glass. Students just running away with this up by 21. I th Looks you know, like you're right, I think this is over. Yeah, th this is over. 36-15 is the score. That's a travel right there on Carnahan. No call, and there will be a foul on RJ Kelly. You know, I think the students are just gonna have fun racking up uh, 
some points on the staff here in the last two and a half minutes. Mm -hmm. So Carnahan shooting two. Something's up here. Uh, Wajanki doesn't obviously know how to line up people for uh, free throws. It's not his job. So here it is, Mr. Brunchweiler and Lunch Lady. She's coming in. You know, she's been in quite a bit. Yeah, she has. She, you know. she team, she's a scrambler. And you know, she's been what's, what's a scrambler? She's been running all over, I, up and down the court, scrambling a, for the ball. What's a scram? What's a scrambler? I'm not. Well, she's I, she's hustling more than the rest of these teams. I'm not pretty. I'm not pretty to that vernacular. Lunch lady for three, get in, please. Oh, <laughs> Robinson with the ball up to RJ. RJ trying to a little contact from Brunch while they look like he stepped. No out of foul bounds. down but low. Lunch lady gets a steal. Poor it, bringing it down court. A minute 36 seconds left on the clock. In the face, give of it down one low. of the interns. Carnahan up for two, no good. Gets her own rebound though. Contact on a shot. No shot. <laughs> Brunch weather. Just tipping it. Here we go, we got Tyler Robinson with the ball. He's bringing it up court. Brunchweiler uh, walking back. I don't know if he got hit in the face or something, but he is just, he looks like he's dying down there. Where's Brunchweiler? Oh. So poor at a minute and nine seconds left on the clock. Looks like he's harassing the students over there on their bench. Oh yeah. He's good at that. So we got a minute left in the game. They've already lost this game, yeah. And there you go, you got Rutko with the easy two. I think that they know it's done. Taylor Robinson. And a steal. <laughs> Brunch Lider trying to make it sure that uh, RJ doesn't dunk on him. <laughs> no, nothing worse than being dunked on. RJ, RJ takes it steal. Right out of his He's hand. He's going to take it down. Travel. And a dunk. <laughs> and he got it. There's two dunks on him. There's a and nice students. dunk right there by RJ Kelly. <laughs> oh. Pour it for three. Wow. That was nice. So here it is. Nemina Parapovich gets it down. Throws it up to Greg. Greg for three. He's off the mark. Poor with the rebound. Poor, you know, this is just going to turn into a shooting yeah, affair. People are <laughs> <laughs> and Lunch Lady has the ball. Uh oh. Off the court. You know, people are just standing around. Oh, there's Lunch Lady. He's scrambling again. Look at her go. Look at her go. Greg gives it to Parapovich. Parapovich for two. Got it. Nothing but the bottom of the net. They hit 40 points. You know, Steph yeah. is just standing around Staff now. Standing. Not really doing much. Brunch while they're trying to get something going. And, and that's going to end it. Staff. Oh, look at <laughs> Brunchweiler hits that, and uh, they're going to count it. <laughs> you know, staff really not coming uh, coming through tonight, losing by 21. Students winning 40 to 19. Wow. What do you have to say? I didn't expect it. I didn't expect everyone, or I didn't expect the teams to come out like that, and uh, they definitely played good basketball. Staff just didn't bring They came out slow, and they were slow the whole game. But... Okay, so with that, 40 to 19, the students finally win in this biennial event. For Brett Hewitt and the rest of the Vision Sports crew, I'm Tony Huff. Good night.